Also, if there's uh, some topics that you want me to cover for 2020, uh, send me a PM, send me a message. Uh, give me some ideas. What do you guys want to hear about? Uh, or who do you want to hear from that's related to the NorCal karting scene? And uh, add topics, events, suggestions, they are all welcome. Uh, believe it or not, I, I don't do this podcast to hear myself sp- talk. Uh, I don't need microphones for that. I could just look in the mirror, stand in amazement, and just start talking. But, um, yeah, again, if there's some topics or events you want covered, let us know. Just send us a quick PM. And, again, for the uh, fourth quarter, 2019, thank you to Rock Cup USA. And uh, we appreciate the sponsorship. It, It does help. And uh, earlier this year, uh, I would do this off the top of my head. So if I forgot you, yell at me and I'll put you down for the next podcast as well. Um, But uh, we had KPX. They sponsored us um, for the Prairie City event that they had. So we went out and we kind of did a different format. We were not really too much on the racing aspect, but more of the backgrounds behind the scenes. Some of the teams doing some interviews a couple of those videos actually did really, really well. And uh, so that was one of them really, really surprised me. So that was a KPX, guys. Thank you. That was also a co-sponsorship with Leading Edge Motorsports. And uh, so it was KPX and Leading Edge Motorsports. And that was for the All-Star slash Prairie City KPX event. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I mentioned Rock Cup a couple of times. I really am just dragging my feet just to see if anyone wants to chime in. That's really all this is at this moment. Uh, Bear with me for a second here. Let's see. All right. Well, we might as well give a shout out to uh, Word Web Design. So it's a word web design. They, they are the ones hosting our um, website. So word web design, they're out of Oregon. Uh, back in the early days of NorCal Carters, going back almost five years ago, uh, Fast Tech Racing, they were one of the very first sponsors to uh, step up. And um, I had them down as a founding supporter because, again, they were, one of the, they were one of the very few that stepped up at the very beginning of the project. Uh, so that was Fast Tech Racing, and as I'm scrolling through my website, I go, oh yeah, I need to update their information because um, they're no longer in Northern California. They moved to Las Vegas. And let's see, uh, Tibby Cart USA, my buddy Farshad. So a lot of the videos that I've worked on for a couple of different YouTube channels, uh, it's Tibby Cart Chassis. So uh, Tibby Cart USA, Farshad, thank you. Um, for, for the support of the NorCal Carter Project. In the future, we're going to have a lot more videos, and uh, I think new people are going to be blown away by how much content we're going to start pumping out here in the very, very near future. And uh, for some of the established racers, some of the content may or may not uh, be useful at this point, but uh, at some point, you may have had these simple questions, and that's what we're going to focus on, the simple questions. Uh, and also, karting concepts, uh, also turn to racing. Uh, they were a founding supporter at the beginning. Um, actually, Patrick Newton's the one that actually put me in uh, my first four-stroke race, which I told myself I would never do it because I like to think I'm a shifter guy. But uh, yeah, Patrick Newton... Um, convinced me to come out and race it was the gt class i think we had like 30 guys out there and uh, shortly after that i bought bought my first four stroke cart with the briggs and stratton 206 engine and uh, that was uh, it's a lot of fun when there's 30 guys on the track so patrick thank you and um i already mentioned earlier i will be rambling so, uh, and then to some of our guests in the past, like I said, GFC, Gary Carlton Racing. We had Scott Speed on. 
let's see here. We did a number of different uh, interviews. I'm going to butcher Greg's name, but I'm going to try it anyway. Greg Yanazo, Joe Fong, Kyle Martin, Big Rich, Gorilla Barbecue, Oliver Rowan, Jason LaPointe. Uh, those were all from the Track Magic uh, Barbecues. Uh, that's a great story, the Track Magic stuff. A uh, young junior driver, Jonathan Andrizi was on with us earlier this year. He gave us his recap of the IKF Grands. That was in Pat's Acres. Let's see, what else do we do this year? Uh, we had William Ferguson on. Uh, he's out of uh, Pacifica. Actually, he's right down the street from Gorilla Barbecue. Um, uh, Speed Sense Motorsports did a fundraiser for him uh, called Golf for Go-Karts. They're doing another one for 2020, so go check out their site. Uh, they're looking for a new driver to sponsor for this program. I believe. I could be completely wrong. I may have just had a bunch of junior dads jumping for the keyboard or calling uh, Austin. But uh, go check out their page and get all the real information because uh, I'm just kind of talking out my ass at this uh, exact moment. Um, let's see. I really am trying to uh, scroll through here and, and find... I uh, thought we had a couple of um, sponsors earlier in the year, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, Cart Pulse, uh, James McMahon, he's doing a cool thing over there at cartpulse.com. So if you're looking for a karting network that's not based on Facebook, go check out cartpulse.com. Uh, him and I spent a lot of time chatting about um, kind of our common interests and and point of view and things that would help carding. So go check that out. And if I missed you and you're a sponsor, please yell at me. I'll make it up to you next week. And um, I think with that being said, I'll be I'll do one more check. We had a few people chime in here on uh, Spreaker. Let me do one last check on Facebook and then if we don't have much, I will be signing off for the night. If you listen to this whole thing, I'm sorry. I am doing a lot of rambling. Um, I'm probably going to look at my notes and go, oh, I didn't talk about this. I didn't talk about that. It's just a weird night. I mean, it's it, when I heard about Wayne's passing over the weekend, it really just bummed me out. Took the wind out of my sails. Um because, I mean, the guy was just uh, not one you would expect to pass so suddenly. It's, um, I'm almost, <laughs> I, I almost keep waiting for him to just kind of pop up at the track and, and prank everybody. And I wouldn't put it past his uh, sense of humor to do that. But, uh, no, I mean, the guy was just, I've already said it, a fireball, just full of energy. So, yeah, it's a little bit um, just taken back by the, whole, by the whole thing. So, Wayne Bundy, this, one, this one's for you. Godspeed, and uh, everyone, have a great night. Thank you.